The Mundukara story, the rainbow serpent story, is the locus of creation. All things began from water. So when we talk about water, we talk about it as the gamu gamu. The gamu gamu is life, and we protect life by protecting the water. My father, grandfather, and great grandfather are born in Claremont. We're from the Galilee Basin, Wangan Jagalingu country. They rounded our people up in Claremont. They took our people from there. Because our people were in a place where there's all these natural resources, coal and gold and gas. This capitalist world we live in now, that's the tyranny that robs us of our humanity. And we're the ones that stand between that and the destruction of our country and the destruction of our law. They say, well, you've been dispossessed, you know, you've been colonized, you've been taken off your land, you don't have continued connection. Yeah, we're blackfellas, we're connected through law. Where we get our law from is right there, in the land, as it was from the day our old people put it there. Our ancestors are with us now, today as we speak. So it's great to be back out on country. It's great to be out here with, uh, with my son and the crew. This has been something that we've been thinking about for a long time. Uh, the, the responsibility that we have as the, uh, the, the custodians to this land and uh, maintaining and protecting and uh, um, monitoring what, what's happening out on our country, especially in, in relation to the Carmichael mine. There are things that mining companies can do to the land, especially the water, and uh, they could damage it beyond repair. To be a cultural custodian is to be somebody that is awake, is alive, and is, is sensitive to the ecosystem, the environment, and how our law is attached to that. Over the many years of being involved in the Aboriginal community, I've met law people from right across the country. The number one thing that comes across is the story of the Rainbow Serpent. This is a story that connects every single one of us. If a Dani or anybody, any corporate entity destroy the sacred sites belong to we people, the First Nations people of this land, not only will they harm the land and the people, but they're, helping, they're hurting us mob up here too because all Aboriginal people are connected. We all family and we all share that one water dreaming. And because our people are the ones that, uh, that have managed the earth, managed the environment for thousands of years, it's been taken from our hands. And so it has to come back to the original custodians to manage the, the water. The remaining years of my life will be saying to everybody in this country that those elders and those law people that are speaking now, they've been born into it. It's their job. They are the messengers. They tell this message for people now. Listen to what they're saying. They're telling you to leave the water alone. They're telling you not to interfere with the water. We have uh, ancient stories of the rainbow serpent and the rainbow serpent dreaming and how our ancestors travelled through this land and how they still reside within the natural environment. So we welcome those tribal elders and tribal leaders and law people from the Northern Territory and right, right across the country, supporting us to protect Dungawala Springs, supporting us to maintain our culture and the dreaming. For us, it's very important that they're there. We're building confidence and self-esteem and pride in, uh, in our heritage. And the reason why we uh, encourage our young people to 
be involved is so that uh, they can strengthen their identity. Um, it's just good to be in the environment, to get out of what's going on in the town, like the antisocial life in town, to come out and to be social, to be cultured, forming myself and shaping who I am mentally, physically and spiritually into, into a young warrior. It's um, very spiritual and, and very, very heartwarming. To be a part of a quabri is really meaningful to, to the environment and where we walk and how we talk. It's a beautiful thing to be a part of. And hopefully the Munagara is watching. <laughs> We sing and dance, and when we tell the stories of the creation as it was, uh, it's going to be changed, it's going to be devastated beyond any recognition if uh, these mines continue. That's why I'm fighting so hard against mining in our country.